In this video, I will show you many holograms filmed in the Rabbit Hole Studio. Then I will explain how they print holograms from computer-generated images, which differ from traditional holography, who consists of photographing real 3D objects. Here's where they expose holograms that can be sold. Often it is holograms with some imperfections. To see the hologram, a single light source must be placed at the specific angle and distance from it. This very big hologram is made from many holographic films because the maximum height of the film is 1 meter. To make those holograms, we need a single picture for each viewing angles. The hologram is like a movie in which the images change depending on the viewing angle. It is all those images together that give the illusion of depth. This one is made from many pictures at different angles. The hologram printer used three lasers which have the three primary colors, red, green and blue. Each beam is split in two with a 45 degree semi-transparent mirror. One of them is the reference beam, the other one is the object beam with all the informations of the hologram. At this point, it is the same as the traditional hologram. The phase difference between the reference and the object beam when they meet on the film gives the information for that viewing angle. The two beams should travel the exact same distance to be coherent. The second beam passes through a lens system to be enlarged, then through a square hole that fixes the hollow pixel shape. Then through a transparent LCD screen. At this moment, a 2D picture representing all the viewing angles for this hollow pixel is projected. The beam is then focused in one single point on the holographic film. The reference beam also hit the film at the same place. One color at the time is print for a specific hollow pixel. The film moves from right to left, then is unwound downward. 
Each low pixel will pass in front of the three colors. It takes about one third of a second to print a color. When the hologram is in printing process, we can see the projection of each holo pixel on the wall behind the film. Each of the pixels of the LCD represent a viewing angle of an holo pixel. The horizontal pixels correspond to the right to left viewing angles and the verticals to top to bottom. An holo pixel could be compared to a hole in a net. Through one hole of the net, we can see all the landscape by moving the head but only for this particular viewing angle. You will also see only one part of the landscape at a time. It is the set of all the holes that give the three-dimensional perspective of the scene. The hologram is printed with all the viewing angles, so we can see the left and the right face of the scene, but also under and below. The appearance of one holopixel looks like a two-dimensional picture of the hologram. But if it is printed, with only the left to right information, as most of the case, one holo pixel has the appearance of a series of vertical lines. They can print up to 1280 viewing angles. This is determined by the number of pixels in one row of the LCD. The film is then glued on a black plexiglass. enjoyed the visit feel free to ask me questions you can also look at my other youtube videos peace